Hello, artist voyagers. Mada here, working from home. And today I want to talk to you about Instagram stories. I think they're a great feature of Instagram. With this quarantine, we, we have a lot of times in our hands. And a lot of times is if we're not creating, we're on our phones or on the screen. And I enjoy a lot doing Insta stories for our viewers on Alpha Voyage, for example. Lately, I've been doing this or that food edition. It's not all the time art related, but if we include music or movies or art, or I'm doing like art quizzes and they're a lot of fun and I really enjoy seeing our viewers engage with our Instagram. So I'm gonna show you how you can use them to engage more with your followers and you can use it also as a marketing tool. Okay, so let's start. The things that you need to know about the Instagram stories. You can have videos up to 15 seconds. We can post as many stories as we want and they will last only 24 hours. I see the stories as the backstage of the artist's life. Instagram stories are great for footage of an event. It is great to show your process, share how you do this kind of color or how you mix your colors or what you're doing. It can be related to your work. You can even promote the new post that you had on your Instagram. So it's another way to say like, hello, I'm here and I'm working even if you're not posting. So there's a lot of ways to use the Instagram stories for your advantage and I think it's a great Instagram feature to engage more with your followers like I said before and now I'm gonna stop and let's go to see how we can use the Instagram stories. To start I'm here sharing this app that I use for or this or that. It's Unfold and here I have my like my main page and to add a story I just click on the plus sign they will give you the option to create the story. So this is this or that horror edition. You create that story and you will get this screen. So you will add the, the plus and you will see all of these templates. You can see uh, more templates, but we're using the free ones. Those you have to buy. So the CS1 and then I'm going to tap on the one that is for two and then I have this and then you just have to add everything so I have my photos for the this or that horror edition now I'm gonna tap on the two that I want for this if I double tap on each photo they will give me the full size I can make it smaller move it around but I want the full size and centered and now I'm going to do the same thing with the other options that I have for this, this or that. I just wanted to share this app because I think it's very helpful. And now I'm going to do my cover. For this cover, I'm going to pick another template. And I'm going to show you how you can um, change the text, change colors, um, sizes. You just have to double tap on the text and then you can type whatever you want to type. And then you can put it, you can change the, the font bold, italic, caps, you can make the text bigger, you can change the color of the text, you can change the font. It's pretty self-explanatory but I think it's a great app. To use and you don't already have the size of the story so you don't have to worry about that and in the top right corner you will find the way to save it you just have to tap that and it will automatically save on your phone so if we go to our Instagram and now to add to our story we just have to click on the camera on the left top corner to add the photos that we just made, we will see the photos that we have available. And we can see the stories that we just created. And now let's start with the first one that is just the announcement of what we are doing. 
and then we just add to the story you can change if you want your story to be viewed on Facebook or not we usually want to and now we'll just do the next one and for this we're gonna use a pool so the pool you have a lot of options here but we are using the pool for this we don't need to ask a question because we just need to use this for people to vote on what is the their favorite so we're gonna use these arrows and then you will you can make it smaller bigger move it around what it's better you decide i like it here so in the middle and it doesn't so you add it to your, to your story now let's do the next one the same thing with the pool no need to ask a question but we're using arrow top arrow bottom arrow and then we'll move it around so it doesn't cover all of the posters and we're gonna do the same thing with all of our stories and that's how I create the stories like the little games that lately I've been playing And those are the these or that stories so now I'm gonna show you how we can use the other tools that Instagram offers so let's say you're planning on doing a painting right and you as an artist of course you will do whatever your heart tells you to do and you will have your inspiration and you will have your concepts but let's say sometimes us as followers we like to feel like we are important to you also and one way to engage with your follower is to use these Instagram tools to make them feel like they're participating maybe let's say you're you're playing a painting and you're between butterflies and flowers one way to see what your customer what your follower like what or, or what they prefer you, you can have a pool for that and then you're between butterflies and flowers and you will ask them like hey do you prefer butterflies or flowers and they will tell you what they want to see so when we go to instagram this is what we see the post of the people that we follow double tap to like and at the top we have the stories of the people we follow Tap to the right to skip, tap to the left to go back, and you can swipe down to exit or just tap the X. This is the story that we created and this is what we see when we create interaction on our story. So we have the votes of the people and this is what we see. So swipe down to exit and here we have options that we have to happy birthday uh, a year ago quote of the day so Instagram gave us give us a lot of options to be creative and ask me a question um, countdown quizzes so this is what we have so if we if you swipe up the options you have different options you will find your stickers and some of them can be interactive and some others just can be like that for example I took a photo of myself uh, swipe down to it. we have gifts we have location we have mention so if we mention someone you can see all of the people you can tag swipe down to delete you can see here we have the option of pool question so for example if you want to see what your followers are doing the people that follows you are you listening lately 
you can have genuine interactions with the, per the people that follows you. They can respond if you post that and let's delete it and let's see another option. So you have questions like a pool. So again, how can you use it? Is it need help, flowers, or butterflies? Swipe down to delete it, and a quiz. So, and you will see the green option. You can change that tapping on the other options. You can make the good option always yourself, and you can type those dice and it will give you different options. So you don't have to come up with a question, but they will give you like some examples. Now we have a countdown and let's do for Christmas. And then they will give you this calendar and you can program that. If people tap it, they can create a reminder and they will be remind of your event. So this is great for events you can move it around make it bigger and also you can add stickers or gifts so if you go and search for Christmas you will have a lot of options for the stickers let's use this one make it bigger smaller let's use this other one if you tap it you can mirror it and also so this is all the options that you get and also you can tap anything that you want to art and this is what we get with art if you need like i don't know like a bird you can just type bird and find one funny one it's just a way to make him your stories more entertaining and give them a little bit of movement movement so horror you can search for the gifts that you want and you can use them as many as you want on your stories we have this like it um, for example stress level <laughs> and they can level your color or whatever you have in mind swipe down to the lid and more options that we have is just the stickers that Instagram offers Also, we have our emojis, the emojis that you have available on your phone. You can use that as a, I showed you before with the GIFs. And also, you can draw on your Instagram story. They have different options. So, this is for arrows. Um, they have different type of brushes. Glowy. You can change color at the bottom. You can delete everything, but I prefer to always use the undo. Is the option up. You can type anything. Hello, bridgers. And you can... <laughs> LOL. And you can make it bigger, move it around, and also you can change the type of font that you want. They will give you like five options. So I'm sh like I'm showing you here, make it bigger, make it smaller, and you can also change colors. And you can save it with this little sign here. And you can send it to your story or send it to individual people also. So you can prefer if sharing on Facebook and Instagram or not. We usually do. And we also have photos. We have these filters. They're very interesting. For example, this one. Uh, what is your painting? <laughs> it's just fun. loves it 
<laughs> and you can do to those videos all the things that I showed you before. Hello. And then we have the option of boomerang, and it's like a loop, a loop video, loophole video. So let's, and you can add everything like I showed you before to that video. You can draw on it. You can type. Hello. And you can do a layout that's for like a collage. Hello. And then let's do one with the core. Then another photo. And another one. And they will give you the option to make like a collage. Or you can add one of your photos. Uh, a super zoom is just a funny option. You can play around with it. I'll just show you this one. <laughs> and hands free to make a video without having to touch and hold your phone all the time. So you just play and you can stop it. And I don't know what I was saying there. So you can use both hands. You don't have to hold your phone. You can just use this option hands free and that's it <laughs> that was the instagram stories tutorial i really encourage you if you have a question you can ask me you can uh, send me an email maria at alpha voyage you can ask me you can ask the alpha voyage instagram um, you can contact me so i offer you my help i hope this was helpful and i hope seeing you working your way up on instagram with insta stories and great content and that's it Bye.